Hello, yes, welcome, welcome to today's broadcast. We started last week to talk about the power of agape, how God's love can transform any marriage. Started talking about that last week. And today I'm going to continue, but I will focus on how God's love, agape, can change your marriage even when you've gone to the state of indifference. If you are joining me or meeting me for the very first time, my name is Adi Subanjo. I'm a pastor and an unconditional love coach. I help men hit their goals in marriage and I help everyone who wants to repair their marriage to do so using God's love. It's the way God designed marriage to be re repaired. And when you do so, it happens in a shorter time and it lasts longer. So that's what I do and uh, I'm glad you're here. So you may be watching me because you are struggling in your marriage at this time or you just want to learn how to make your marriage better. Whatever the case is, you will always be blessed by listening to what I have to share about God's love. Because God's love is God's signature. If you are in a relationship and in your marriage, you discover that your wife is no longer responding to you. Not responding to your show of love, not responding to things that used to get her upset, you just know that you're not connecting, you're not connected. What happens that two people who claim to love God and love one another and have children together, how, what, what happens that makes them become so mean to each other? How does a woman who says, I'm going to stay with you, become so broken that she doesn't want to engage at all. How does a husband who has already um, committed his life to a woman to marry her become so frustrated? There's so many things that can bring marriage to that place. And the first of them is unforgiveness. When someone hurts you and you don't forgive them, or you hurt someone and they don't forgive you, you cannot move that marriage or that relationship forward. And so imagine a marriage that is filled with issues that have not been forgiven or resolved. It will gradually grind to a halt. And that is why many marriages eventually break down, regardless of the good intentions of the husband or the wife. What can a man filled with God's love do in this situation of course you know my my plan you know the love workout program is in three stages the first three stage is to heal the heart of the person the second stage is to connect our heart properly with god so that you can tap into unending unlimited resource of god's love and god's grace and the final stage is steps to build the connection between you and your wife. So when the love of God floods one's heart, it heals. And there are three things that it does when it heals. The first thing it does is that it makes you to realize that your love, your joy, your peace is not a function of what your spouse does. It's a function of who God is in your heart. The second thing that it does is to help you to forgive properly. And the last thing it does is that it shows you all the bad habits that you have accumulated over the years to, pre to, to protect you from the bad behaviors of others. And one thing that I've discovered when I've, I've, as I've engaged with men and women uh, all, um, for the last couple of years and for maybe, I can say maybe 20 years now as a pastor, one thing I've noticed is that when a marriage is struggling, there's unforgiveness somewhere and we need to deal with that. But we cannot start there because most people do not know how to forgive. And there's no way we can start by telling someone to forgive without showing them why 
they should forgive and how to forgive. And most people don't know how to. What most people know how to do is to try to suppress the negative feelings that they have towards the person who has hurt them. And whenever a person hears me say forgive, that's what they think I'm saying. Uh, what they think I'm saying is, and what they think the scripture is saying is, re refuse to, to accept what you want to do to the person who has hurt you and try your best uh, not to react to them outwardly. Don't let your reactions be negative. It doesn't deal with how you feel. It doesn't deal with um, how to not let your, your feelings go, um, like get out of hand and make you do what you're not supposed to do. And so the people find that hard to do. And after years of trying to do that, they give up on it and begin to say things like, I, I'm finding it difficult to forgive and or I've forgiven them when they haven't. And, and that's why marriages continue to struggle and struggle and struggle. And eventually it breaks down. Once you've discovered that your marriage is going down the drain, you have gone past complaining and fighting, disputing from time to time over and over that is a bad place to be but there's something worse than that and that is when you do things and she doesn't care anymore what is happening at that time is that she's wondering how she can get out of that marriage without hurting herself too much she's figuring at this point what's the best exit strategy when a person taps into agape and their wife is indifferent Here's what happens when you've been healed and you've known everything that God has prepared for you. You discovered all the un unforgiveness in your heart. You then learn to forgive her. All right. So you notice people that have hurt you in the past. You forgive them because God's love works that deep into your heart. You forgive her. What are the things that she's done that really hurts you and she's doing right now that hurts you? So you need to learn. You're going to learn the, 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 the ways to forgive. And, and the key to being able to forgive is to recognize that no one just wakes up and figures out, how am I going to hurt my husband today? No, they're doing that because they are hurt themselves. They're doing the things that hurt you because they are trying to get something for themselves. They're not thinking of hurting you. They're just thinking of getting something for themselves. And that hurts. And so when we find someone hurting us, instead of trying to punish them, make them feel the pain that we feel, or run away completely from them, here's what we're going to do because God's love has flooded our hearts. We see how broken they are, we see how disconnected they are from God's ideal. We are able then to say, Lord, the same way you changed me, help my wife to be to see how much she can get from you. So you, this is what your the love of God in your heart begins to do. And then you remember all the negatives you've done, all the ways you've hurt her, then you begin to say them and say, you know what? For so many years, I hurt you this way. Um, I apologize. I'm so sorry. And her reaction to you in all of this may not be pleasant. She may not be open. She may not even give you the opportunity to speak. You will need to text those things or write those things. And, and you're going to be dealing with her as you would deal with a good neighbor. Because God's love is in your heart and you respond it. Now, what does that mean for the next stage of our transition, your connection with God? So as you are learning about the heart problems that you had and you're changing them, you're also deepening your connection with God. You're surrendering more to God. So when your life has a purpose that is bigger than yourself and you're healing in your heart and you're pursuing the things of God, you will express a different atmosphere around you you will carry a different spirit around you the selfish spirit the mean spirit that your wife is uh, reacting to will disappear and the loving spirit the god's presence that you want and you and she needs will become apparent but if she has been attacked by the enemy um 
and and her indifference which comes from bitterness and anger towards you and unforgiveness towards you has opened the doors for the enemy to really take hold of her heart she's going to react negatively she can move out for a while she can say mean words to you all that time you will be patient why because you you can see why a person who needs treatment uh, in the hospital will react to pain that they are feeling because that's what you're doing you bring in the light you're bringing god's peace you're bringing god's joy you you you're bringing the truth into the marriage she's going to react you so she's going to do things that you didn't expect but you press on you press on you're able to so before now you can do all of this even though you knew what to do that this is what i'm supposed to do but you find yourself doing the opposite because you've not allowed the love of god to go deep into your heart when that happens you're able to wait you're going to be patient and you're able to allow her express the pain that she feels now as a child of god because you're always shining the light the light will penetrate the darkness and of course you are praying as well we're going to practice some of those prayers before i wrap up today because you're praying and you're releasing god's power into your marriage you begin to see the transformation that's what i'm going to stop today and tomorrow i'm going to continue like uh, from there if you have been blessed by what i've been sharing do not forget to like the video do not forget to share it with your brothers and your sisters and family members and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel all right so until we meet again tomorrow Continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. May love bless you. Bye for now.